The Tower of Power has proven itself to the Raiders, and it seems that they now fear its stony threat. We have gained a new gravedigger, and the chicken-murdering devil worshippers of the Heresy of the Rose turned tail and fled without a fight. Good. Allison and the gang have a dining hall to carve out, more bedrooms to make, and soon many, many red curds to harvest. Hello, and welcome back to Going Medieval. As mentioned, yeah, our tower seems to have scared off those raiders that were following uh, our Nash over here. <laughs> that, that have harmed him in some way, though I, I didn't get... I didn't get the, um, well, I guess I was going to say I did get the chance to check. I, I, I didn't pay attention to what was actually wrong. He looks like he currently has a bruised chest. So perhaps uh, they had been whipping him or something to give those those, those bruises. Maybe whipping would be more like uh, scars at this point. Well, maybe not scars, but like um, scratches is the word I mean. But you know what I mean, like a f like flayed skin or something. Um, Bruce, I, mean, I guess they must have like been hitting him. Uh, so maybe they had him up on a chair asking him information about the French uh, soldiers that he uh, cracks skulls with his pickaxe to. I'm, I'm going to go with that. Anyway, here we go. So our food store room is currently getting filled up with Bernice's, um I think, I think this may be overkill. I think it may be worthwhile to break down some of these. So I'm thinking these two-handed maces, definitely want to break them down. Um, there's quite a few of them. The Burdishas, I think it's time to break down the Burdishas as well. Uh, so let's do that. We can, we can leave the other things for now. They are taking up space though. So yeah, we, we definitely want to move on to that. Let's go over here. We'll make a new uh, smelt items for iron order. We'll be taking everything um, at whatever hit points, essentially. We'll get the two-handed uh, maces, two-handed flared maces. Um, actually, you know what? Let's set up certain things that we just don't want to keep. So the two-handed stuff, for sure. We're not we're not big on that. Uh, battering ram. Ooh, they're going to have battering rams at some point. Hmm. Good to know. Good to know. Shackles. You know, we don't want that. Uh, we don't want shackles. That sounds horrible. Um, so let's, yeah, let's set it up like this. We're going to do this forever. And we're going to make this a top priority. Can I? No, I can't put it up to the very tippy top. Is this the one? Yeah, okay. So the main priority will be to melt those back down now. The Burdishas are simply there uh, for giving us training. So you know what? Let's make sure we have... Till we have... Let's say 10. Until we have 10 Burdishas. So they shouldn't be making Burdishas right now. They should be uh, melting them down. And Will is currently working on something. Crafting metal item. Oh, Iron Ingot. Will just made us some iron ingots. He is back to the smithing. He's level 5, you know? It just... The sheer diligence that um, Will has been showing so far uh, is is just amazing. <laughs> he isn't the most skilled smith, but look at that. He, he, was, he must have been level 1 or 2 when we first got him. He's now level 5. Just... He... You know, the diligence of his craft is really paying off in terms of experience. And uh, who is down this? Is this Snelling? Yeah, Snelling is down here. Worn sturdy, decomposed, or has been destroyed while worn by Brill. Oh no, Will lost his, his horny helmet. Yeah, look at that. We can see Will's head. Oh, I had no idea. I had no idea you were a redhead, Will, and balding. All right. Oh, there we go. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's he's coming over here. What is he doing? He's going to grab a new helmet. Oh, it looks like a pretty good one. A sturdy male helmet. Is there anything... Iron? Uh, iron. Is there anything else, maybe? There's a good male helmet. Oh, we'll, we'll take the good male helmet. You know what? 
Let's get you a good one. Yeah, let's go with that. Let him pick that up. No need for you to pick up, like, you know, a, a subpar helmet. We want, we want him doing the good stuff. Here we go. Well, it is coming over here, I guess. There's still, uh, well, there's flax seeds to pick up. I was gonna say, there's still other things to pick up. It's literally just flax. Okay, okay. Wonderful. This is barley, and we are going to keep the barley for now. Um, I was saying, I think it was in the last episode, maybe it was the one before that, uh, that this area, we could be using it for farmland if we just chop off some. And I think that's what we're going to do. I think after after the dining hall, our next priority is going to be to move this over. Hmm. Oh, we don't even have to actually. If I was to just dig a trench here and move these stairs and build a little footpath, we could use all this. Okay, well, it's certainly going to be waiting until the dining hall is done. Oh, there. There is a lot of digging to do, and once the current digging tasks are done, uh, we're going to have walls to build, we're going to have arches to build, so uh, we don't want to... We don't want to um, over... Over tax? I'm not sure is the word I'm looking for, but like, ask too much out of them uh, at this time. Let's see, red currants? It rots in like over a year. <sighs> Fantastic. Eventually, we're going to have shelves to put food on. That's going to help as well. So this is going to be just amazing um, for food preservation. But right now, no, that's fine. Here we go. We're going to have two doors here. We can wait for now. I remember that the reinforced doors and that the wooden doors uh, had the same sort of value. So we can just leave this here. Look at this. So many of them right now just digging away and they're so quick at it too. They really have gained a lot of um, a lot of experience. So let's see, Emota has lost her clothes, but luckily we have clothes right here. Uh, Wallace has gained some mining skill. Fantastic. Training failed once again. Max the second is not proving themselves to be the most trainable of dogs. That's alright. We don't need a well-trained dog right now. We need a dining hall. Lock walls. Settlers are suffering from cold. Yeah, we're gonna have to warm this up. Mm. Which means that this may warm up as well. Let me see. How how far away? Okay, yeah. It, it is actually quite difficult to keep an area warm. So that's 20, and already here that's 17, and already here that's 7. I think just the doors will be enough to keep this area cool uh, once we start heating up the dining hall. I think we'll be fine. Allison and Sybil, our two original good girls, are uh, digging away. Here we go. Oh, Emota has joined. I think Emota was actually a really early addition, too. I have that in the back of my mind now. And yeah, we're definitely going to start placing blocks. Uh, that'll make them start making new blocks. Which will be useful. We could have like double double doors, I guess. Because it's going to be too thick here. I don't know if that'll help for the heat retention. I don't know if it'll be pretty. Either. I, I think it'd be like a huge pain in the butt for them. <laughs> so maybe we won't do that. Here we go. I'm waiting for Wallace, Bjorn, or Aranach to finish digging one of these so I can place a new block down. Here we go. Aranach was the first. Perfect. And Wallace is already working on these stone block walls. So we're going to be able to start building this one as well. Uh, Bjorn has the second one of these down, which means we will actually be able to build a stone arch. Fantastic! We already have the stone arch ready with the two walls. 
I think that should actually be enough to support the stone above it. Just that. So we might start queuing up more digging right away. If we're... If we have that up. Uh, that said, it looks like we already have both stone arches. So that's even better. Even better. So... There should only be two spaces here between arches and walls. And I think that'll be amazing. Uh, food reserves on stockpile low. Ooh, let's slow things down. I was under the impression that... Oh, no, 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 we're fine. Red currant pies, stews, roasted meats. Yeah, they have more... They have more food stuff to choose from than they ever had at any other point <laughs> in Shellthorpe history. Okay. Um... It, yeah, that's fine. Let's ju let's just leave that as such. Uh, we're building another wall here. We're building another wall here. I don't know if they can build diagonally, so let's just wait for this one here. Allison is the one working on these walls. We can go back to a faster rhythm. I think I think things are going quite well, and we've just fought off a raider and uh, scared off another raider group. So I don't think. We're going to be attacked anytime soon, he says, now maybe regretting his words. Bjorn is coming here, and I think, yeah, I think this is the last little chunk to dig out. So that's good. That's good. We like to see that. Yeah, there we go. So we're going to start building the wall here as well. Aranash has finished this wall. It's not the most riveting of gameplay, but it is... Very nice to see that uh, we're we're getting through this dining hall so quickly. Okay, Sybil is now the sole digger. And I think this may be the last time. Nope, this will be the last time then, for sure, right? Limestone deposit. No, it's not. It's not even close. There is more limestone down here. I think it's taking longer to dig through. Is that possible? I can't, um, I can't select any limestone over here, but I have a feeling that it's taking longer to dig out that limestone. I'm not sure why. All right, um, let's build that there, flip it over, build that there. The arches are now in, which means we could start digging once again. Boom, here we go. Wonderful. It is now the end of the second day of fall. Our Natch is digging up a storm as we speak. Fantastic. And uh, are they coming to help with the dig? That surprises me if so. Yeah, they are. Look at that. Everyone's just running down to dig. And to build, of course. Yeah. Very important that we also build the walls so that the ceiling... Uh, doesn't fall in and crack our skulls open. And yeah, okay. They were about to go to bed. Uh, that's why it was surprising to me that everyone was running down all of a sudden. It's because um, it was so close to bedtime. So, Emota and Sybil are here, though. I'm not sure why. Very odd. They should be going to bed. Okay, once again, Will and uh, Snelling should be the only ones awake at least very very soon uh, Snelling is enjoying some entertainment Will is praying wonderful uh, oh auto saving here we go we're about to find out what the next day has in store for us wonderful okay so we now have 10 out of 10 birdishes you know what this should still be on top uh, so that means that they should be taking the Burdishas apart. Actually, it means that three of them have already been taken apart. Mm -hmm. And what is Will picking up? He's crafting metal in some way. Maybe he's moving ch uh, coal or charcoal over? Maybe that's what's happening to light the, light the flames here. Look at this. He is taking apart a Burdish. Wonderful. Or, or... Uh, one of the two-handed clubs that we had. How much experience does this give us? Let's see. 150. Not the most, 
but it was also a really quick task. So maybe that's the new, the new meta here. We're hoping that uh, we'll melt down as much stuff as possible, just both so that it can give us some space down here, and for um, and for the iron, and for the experience. So there is nothing but upsides, right? Here we go. We're gonna place these down. It looks like Snelling is focusing on building, which is very good, actually. It'll strengthen this room a little bit. There we go. All right. Will is focusing on the smithing, and I'm perfectly happy with that. You know, Will, I, I've been I've been joking about how like it'd be better if we left Wallace to it, but I'm just so glad that you've... Look at this. The, the smithing level are just shooting up with him uh, taking stuff apart, so you go, boy. You, you do, you do you. I'm not stopping you. You're doing fantastic. There is also, however, quite a bit of... Aha, thank you, Violet. Quite a bit of red currents just laying on the ground there, I was going to say. Uh, so it'd be good if they pick that up, but it uh, seems Violet was way ahead of me. So I'm happy. Let's build this here. We now have an entire wall done. Wonderful. Uh, this is going to take probably another day to dig out. From what I've seen, they dig really quickly. Mostly because every piece of exposed stone can allow one of our nine settlers to, you know, run down and dig it out. So it's it's uh, it's going pretty good. I want it to go the other way. There we go. There we go. Now everybody's about to wake up soon. Let's just uh, take a moment to kind of we zoom out. This is it. Is this is as far back as we can zoom out. Here we go, everyone has just woken up. Some people had bad conversations, someone is happy. It looks like Wallace was was happy, I think that was Wallace. Or Bjorn, one of the two, they're currently praying. Here we go, everyone's just milling about their day. Let's take a moment, right? The 7 a.m. on third day of autumn. Ooh! Do you see what I see? trees whose colors have changed look at that so it's not every tree what is this this is an oak the field maple should be changing colors soon uh, come on maples have like the most brilliant red of colors in real life uh, birch seem to have changed color slightly for some reason the maples are taking the most time which is bizarre to me we go what are these these are oaks yeah the oaks are turning red maybe field maples are different than the sugar maples that we have where i live but sugar maples they turn brilliant red uh in autumn go. oh look at this we have a whole bunch more red currants hopefully uh our cows will pick that up and bring that over it's a weird thing to say but uh yeah, they, they, they are our, uh, our haulers, our designated haulers, and they have done an amazing job so far. There we go. Oh, look, Will has gained more smithing. Fantastic. Good job, Will. I'm happy. I'm happy. It, it's about time you go to bed, though. You sleep through the day and are awake at night, so... We could also, is it warm in here? Hmm. I was gonna say, we could also start putting in the stone braziers, as I'm going to continue calling them, um, and just put them here by the door, and I think it would be aesthetically pleasing, but from what I see over here, it's like warmer the closer you are to them, so maybe it's a better idea to have them back near the wall. Uh, that way the heat doesn't come here quite as easily. We're going to wait till this one's built, and then we're going to build all three that are missing. Bjorn and Emoto are currently uh, working up a storm on these walls. We like to see it. And it looks like Max II was eating ice red currant pies. Sure. You know what? Sure. 
Iron Ash is now better at mining. Also very nice. Walls is building our walls, but he's starting with the wall I was hoping he would build last. Oh well. Here we go. Those three, and then we're done. That means we should be able to build some more stone braziers. Right here. We'll start with one, and then we'll build the other one once this is done. Bjorn little mining skill has now level 18. Alright, Bjorn is also gaining mining skill. Oh, we could build a iron. Ooh. 47. Oh, it's not a huge value increase. Let's stick with the stone. We have so much stone. Oh, need resources. It's not the stone that we're lacking then. It's the wood. Okay, so let's zoom on up here. Uh, and just... It's actually kind of throwing me off that... Uh, they're not digging these up. Isn't this part of a farm? <laughs> Isn't this part of a farm? No? Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay, it's hard to... Here we go, get to it. Uh, mature. So these guys here are actually not part of the farm. They're just growing because, like, in proximity to it. So let's start digging that down. We've got some more wood to build our, our heat source downstairs. The wall has been built. Okay, wonderful. We're going to build a second stone grazer here. And um, decorative shield. We could have, like, a weapon rack and a shield. That would be good. We could also have, we need, like, a, a, a table. We'll have a stone table. Oh, look at this. Okay, this is bigger than I thought. And there doesn't seem to be a way to center it. A medium wooden table? Yeah, this is closer to what I, I was thinking here. And, oh, wooden table. Sorry. Let's try that again. Okay, medium stone table. Here, here. And we're going to have chairs. Iron chairs. Aesthetic value 9, aesthetic value 8. No, we're going to go with the... Come on. We're going to go with the stone. There we go. And I think... I think the, like, recreation hall and dining hall are two separate things. I might be completely wrong about that. Um, it has been quite a while since I've uh, paid any attention to like room types in this game so let me see let me see if I was to inside the chambers right uh, room type chamber okay this doesn't seem to be an easy way to check out the other room types hmm Maybe overview item domestic no. Hmm. Let's take a look around. There must be historical records almanac. Perhaps. Perhaps. Um. Search room. Room types. Here we are. Room types. Uh. Four walls. At least one door and a roof or ceiling creates a spare room. Fill that room with furniture and decoration to create other types of rooms. Take a look. Auto saving. Take a look at the room type legend in the upper left corner when room overlay is turned on. Interesting. To see what is needed for each room type uh, and what it benefits. Okay, so room overlay is turned on. Take a look at the room type legend in the upper left corner. must be something here, right? 
Show overlay of room. Ah, uh -huh. okay. Okay, room types. Kitchen, workshop, library, church of restitutionist uh, chapel, oak brethren temple, chamber, shared chamber, great hall, infirmary, and spare room. So great hall is what we want. I don't see something for recreation. So let's read this. A place for tales and music through the long nights. Ah. Uh, for feasting or plotting, where the settlers gather, gather to take their daily bread. You must have at least one large medium table. We do. At least six chairs or stools. We should. Um, at least eight wall banner, decorative shield rack, decorative trophy rack, decorative weapon rack. Interesting. At least four torches or wall torch. Oh. Minimum grid space area 50 oh this is going to be spare room for a while how much is 50 let's see one two three four five six by one two three four five six seven eight all right uh permit me just to pull out the old trusty calculator as um I've never been good with multiplication, so here we go. That's, four, that's 48. 48 plus 2, though, so that's 50. Okay. Uh, so it's asking for torches as well. We have braziers. I don't know if that counts. Hmm. Okay, we're going to turn the overlay off for the rooms for a moment. Here we go. And we are going to build this. Build this. It says four torches. Pen marker, pyre. I seriously don't know if um, if breezers count as torches. It's a weird thing to say because it sounds like it shouldn't, but I I don't I don't actually know. Uh, did it say eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I already forgot. Okay, uh, up here. Eight wall banners, decorative. Blah blah blah. So the torch or wall torch is actually the thing that makes me hesitate that this might work. I think we may have to, I think we may have to wait until we have it. But at least they have a space, which is nice. It's quite nice. Okay. So it doesn't look like there's a spare room for um, backgammon. Uh, well, that's okay though. That's okay. Let's see, we have a bunch of barley, we have a bunch of red currant. And we have a bunch of created food, right? Red currant pie. Alright, well we do have red currant pie, which is important. Alright, so we do have a room. It's not it's not yet properly prepared. Hmm. We are going to need torches though. That's the part that's throwing me off. Let me see. It would be in here, I'm almost certain. Mm -hmm. Would it be here? Ah, torches. Okay, 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 okay. We do need this for the heat, but we should have wall torches uh, here. There we go. So one, two, oh, two. Let's put that here then get rid of this guy so it looks like we actually do have torches and I'm just a little slow uh, torches wall torch iron let's put one here and one here and that should give us that should give us the great hall of our dreams and you can tell that it's a fantastic great hall because of the large amount of limestone stuff just laying on the ground oh well um yeah, let's ignore that for now. Oh, hello. Influence rising. Interesting. Flourishing Shellthorpe grows more influential in the region with each day if that passes. Yeah, the people have heard of our Tower of Power. This is sure to attract more settlers and perhaps garner unwanted attention from other settlements. Ooh. Okay. I remember 
that uh, there was something, I believe it was not researched yet. Um, I, I believe we haven't done the research for it, but it was allowing us to um, cartography, to be able to make maps. Here we go. I'm going to speed things along. Uh, it was it would allow us to make maps uh, which I would expect would allow us to like interact with other places so we're gonna find out more about that uh, in the future but right now let's see if we get ourselves a great hall here we are Emotus building our third wall torch and Aranach and Bjorn are building our last two there we go. Great Hall. Fantastic. So, Great Hall. Can we not click on it? Modest modest Great Hall is a good Great Hall, I think. Alrighty. We're just going to speed things along. Uh, everything has been really quiet, and I have just seen the time, so it has actually been over half an hour already. Let's see if we can get to the end of our, of our uh, period. Oh, and look at this. Oh, no, that's pretty. Okay, you know how I was saying that maple trees usually have, like, bright red leaves? <laughs> In this game, they seem to be yellow. So our birch and our oak trees are red, and our maple are another kind of orange-yellow. That's nice, too. Yeah, it's nice to see. We like to see that. Here we go. Oh, research available. That's not what I expected. Is it this? No. It's decorative banners. We have decorative structures, which are like deer heads, trophies, and decorative banners. Uh, we don't need them right now, so I think we're going to put them aside for now. I, I didn't even notice how much chronicles. We have 15 chronicles. Okay. Let's speed things along. Try to get to midnight. Oh, Allison is working Forge. Look at her go. Smithing of level 2. I, I like the enthusiasm, Allison, but... No, no, this isn't working out, girl. We're not going to be the one to make mechanisms, I don't think. We have, I, I'm sorry, idle settlers. Yarn has nothing to do. Wow. Okay, we have reached a point where we're actually lacking things to do. I really do want to speed time along, but what I'm going to do is set up some more digging tasks. Deconstruct this. Deconstruct this. And build that up, dig that out rather. And this should give us uh, a new room. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, they've already dug that up. We shouldn't be having people with no tasks. Let's speed things along for the last three hours of the day. Just take a moment. Just look at them all running around. There is. They are so productive now. Look at this. They pick stuff up quickly. There's digging to do. It gets dug. You know, when you have food to fill people's bellies, things go well. There we go. And it looks like we are about to hit midnight. And... Auto-saving. There we go. And it is now the end of the third day. And it is now uh, 30 more four minutes-ish of recording. So this is where we're going to leave it off for today. Thank you for joining us uh, today in Shelthorpe. Uh, we have gotten quite a bit done uh, from the dining hall, which is actually a great hall. It qualifies to a whole bunch of smithing. Uh, and yeah, no, this, this has been fantastic. <laughs> After... Two sessions of just fighting, or at least fear of fighting, um, a nice, nice quiet building session was required, I think. So this is where we're going to leave it off for today, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.